Turning now to a Target 12 investigator's exclusive transport tragedy. Basically, her, her whole body was broken. This has changed my life. A daughter is speaking out after her mother's death. Police say a medical transport van hired by the state lost control and crashed. The driver working for a state contractor pleaded not guilty to several criminal charges, including driving under the influence. Target 12 investigator Sarah Granelli sat down with a woman's daughter who wants to see change. Sarah. The company responsible for that driver just renewed their state contract worth $129 million over three years. The daughter we spoke with says she doesn't understand why. On November 27th, 2021, Ann Corcoran got a call no one ever wants. Her mother, Lena Russo, had been in a serious car crash on her way home from a dialysis appointment. She saw what she quote my mother fly from the the back of the van to the front of the van. She was in the van of a subcontractor of the Medical Transportation Management or MTM, a company hired by the state to drive patients to non-emergency medical appointments. I said, how did she fly? I, I don't understand that. I was taking it all in. To me, it was just pandemonium at the time. There were a lot of ambulances, police officers, fire engines, people pulled to the side of the road, and I was just trying to grasp what was going on. According to police, the driver, Dauda Elagushi, crossed the double yellow lines on Route 117 in Coventry and hit another car head on. The mangled vehicles with shards of debris littering the ground. Court filings allege Lena wasn't strapped in and the crash caused her to be thrown from the wheelchair into the back of the driver's seat. She had broken femurs, broken hip, broken back, broken arm and uh, some type of gash on her head, which we found out later she hit the console with. The driver told police the sun was in his eyes, but police said he had an expired international driver's license and they found another person's license in the car. They also say they found this open bottle of beer in the cup holder. Corcoran said her mother suffered for a week before dying on December 3rd. I'm sitting here today after about almost two years because I couldn't talk about this any earlier. MTM has been plagued with problems ever since its Rhode Island contract started in 2019. That year, the company was fined $1 million. For Corcoran, she says she can't understand why the contract was renewed in July. In a statement to Target 12, MTM said in part, the new contract contains additional quality and safety requirements along with provisions that will promote greater transparency around performance metrics. How has this changed your life? I lost a sweet mother to this. I mean, my mother was sick. And the reason why I had her living with me in recent years is I just thought in her last days, I'd be with her in our house and say our goodbyes the way we should have. And it was taken away. MTM agreed to pay $600,000 to Rhode Island after that deadly crash. The attorney for the driver said he could not comment because the case is pending. Coming up at 6, how state officials are keeping a close eye on MTM and what changes have been made since Russo lost her life. With the Target 12 investigators, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.